Hi, I'm Pete Forsyth, and today I'm going to tell you about peer review on Wikipedia. This video is part of a series produced for Communicate OER, which is a project to collaboratively improve the articles relating to open education and open educational resources on Wikipedia. So on the screen you'll see a list of uh, a few different kinds of peer review on Wikipedia. Uh, so I'm going to tell you first about the featured article status. Then I'm going to tell you about the good article status. Then we'll talk about the thing that's called peer review, which is actually a subset of what you probably think of as peer review on Wikipedia. Uh, and then I'll talk a little bit about the shortcomings and the value of the peer, various peer review processes on Wikipedia. So just a note about the conventions uh, before I get started. These uh, double bracketed items that I have in the list these are shortcuts that you can type into the Wikipedia search bar at any time to get more information about this topic. So you don't need to type the double brackets. That's just the syntax that you would use if you were encoding it into a Wikipedia page. But if you type WP colon FA at the top of any Wikipedia screen, you will come to the, the page about featured articles, and then you can explore from there. So with that, let's get to it. So here is the front page of Wikipedia and I'm going to start here because the concept of a featured article comes originally from the question of well what do we do with the front page of Wikipedia um, there was this is going back to I believe 2002 or thereabouts when Wikipedia was still a very young project and there was the question of what how do we choose what articles to feature on the front page of Wikipedia and there was this idea that the very best content should be featured, and so there had to be some kind of process for determining what is the best con content. So as you can see today, uh, which is uh, January 13th, 2013, the featured article is about the Adelaide leak, and what you see is a, a summary of the article on the front page, and if you want to read the full article, you can just click on the link. So let's go down to the bottom of this section, and you'll see a few standard items that are always going to be there at the bottom of the featured article section. Uh, the first is a, a link to the archive. So this is going to be an archive of the most recently featured articles. Uh, this changes over, I believe, daily, maybe a couple times a day. Um, so you, if you were interested in finding an article that was featured yesterday or a few days ago, that would be your easiest way to find it. Um, by email, I believe, is a way to, uh, to get a copy of the featured article emailed to you. And what we're going to click on is this link here that says more featured articles. So this is the is, is basically the overview page about the featured article process on Wikipedia and how everything fits together. So you'll get this nice description, featured articles in Wikipedia. Um, and one thing I'd like to point out is that it, it, there's always an up-to-date statistic here. There are currently 3,779 featured articles out of over 4 million. And, uh, and this, this ratio has actually been consistent pretty much throughout the history of the featured article program on Wikipedia. It's, it's generally been about one in a thousand articles that get this status. Um, on the right hand side you'll see a number of different links related to the featured article program. And also if we scroll down, uh, you can see the scroll bar on the right hand side. You can see there's lots more on this page. This is actually a list of every single featured article on Wikipedia by category. So here you see uh, this is the list of articles in the biology category that are identified as featured articles and of course you can go go through and find articles on any kind of topic. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top and let's look at these uh, links on the right hand side. Uh, first of all actually we see this uh, shortcut WP colon FA that's just a nice reminder that there's always this easy way to get there so you would type in WP colon FA in the search box and that would just take you to this page. Um, now you also you'll see uh, there's featured article there are also featured lists, featured pictures, featured portals, and featured topics. So these are all different kinds of content that's on Wikipedia but of course articles are the main uh, the the main thing on Wikipedia so um, let's leave aside these other kinds of content. Uh, but then there are these tools here. So the first one I do want to spend some time looking at, feature article criteria. These, these are the, the criteria that 
are used to determine whether or not something is a featured article. Uh, after that, we see featured article candidates. So that are that's uh, going to be a list of articles that are currently being considered for featured article status. Uh, featured article review comes after that, and that's an ongoing process to determine whether an article is um, is still up to the featured article standards. Um, and so. I want to pause and talk a little bit about what is the process that we're about to see. The, uh, the, the featured article process is, is essentially an open process where anyone uh, can comment on an article that is typically self-nominated by the, the main person who's worked on the article and against these criteria that we're about to look at. So it's a completely open process where you don't even have to have an account on Wikipedia. If you have an opinion about whether the article does or does not meet those standards or a suggestion to improve it so that it meets them better, uh, you're invited to participate in the process. Um, and after a period of typically a few weeks, there'll be a determination made of what the consensus is, whether there is a consensus that the article meets those standards. So with that, let's take a look at what the criteria are that we compare them against. I'm going to click this link, Featured Article Criteria. And again, you see this shortcuts screen on the right-hand side. Uh, so if you want to get back to this page easily, you could type in any of these to get directly there. And then on the left here, we see what the actual criteria are. So a featured article exemplifies our very best work and is distinguished by professional standards of writing, presentation, and sourcing. In addition to meeting the policies regarding content for all Wikipedia articles, and that's a link that you could read more deeply into, it has the following attributes. And so there are, I believe, there are four different, uh, different, different categories here and some subcategories. So uh, I'm going to just go through them very quickly. Of course, you can come back and review on your own if you want to get into more detail. Uh, but the basic idea is that an article is going to be well-written, comprehensive, well-researched, neutral, and stable. It's going to follow the Wikipedia style guidelines. So that means that it's going to have uh, a lead section that, is, that, that meets the standards for a lead section according to Wikipedia. It's going to have an appropriate structure, meaning that it's appropriate to the, the subject, the way that the article is structured, the kinds of sections that it has, uh, is suitable to the topic. It's going to have a consistent citation style. So it could be uh, you know, Harvard references or AP style reference. could be any accepted kind of referencing, but it should be consistent within the article. Um, it's going to have media. Again, this is going to be as appropriate to the topic, So, but basically it's going to have images or video or audio uh, at a level that is, uh, is appropriate to understanding the topic. So if, uh, if the topic is, is a city, it would have a number of photographs of the city. If the topic is you know, a, a prin principle in literary theory, there might not really be uh, images that really capture it, so that that might not have as many or even any images. Um, but where there are media that can help the reader understand the topic, they should be included. And finally, the length uh, of the article. It should be focused on the main topic without going into unnecessary detail. And, uh, and specifically, it should use something that's referred to as summary style, which is, in, in broad strokes, this is just the idea that if the article is about a complex topic, that there might be sub-articles. Uh, so for instance, if, uh, if the article is about Boston uh, and the history of Boston is a really rich and extensive subtopic, that there would be a separate article called The History of Boston. And the article on Boston would simply summarize that uh, instead of making the reader go through the entire history of Boston just to get an overview of the, the topic as a whole. So uh, I'm going to come back to our, uh, our our list here. Uh, we have so we've just looked. We've just had a sort of an overview of the featured article process, uh, and we looked at the criteria. So now let's look at the process. How does something actually become a featured article? So for this, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go back up to this list here, and we're going to look at the current featured article candidates. And I am, uh, I'm going to be looking at this for the first time today along with you. So let's look uh, and see what we have. So as you can see there are a number of different articles that have been nominated. Uh, I'm going to pick this one, Hurricane Debbie, for 
which was a hurricane in 1961, apparently. And here we see the, the person who originally nominated the article, which uh, is most likely the person who's done most of the article. Um, we can probably tell if we read through this. Uh, yeah, it says at the end here, I hope you all enjoy reading this article as much as I enjoyed writing it. Uh, and then after that, you will see people start to discuss. So often they'll just say support or oppose, whether they, uh, as, as a, at the beginning of their comment, they'll say whether overall they support the article or not for being uh, accepted as a featured article. Uh, in this case, the person says support, and with the caveat that I reviewed it for GA, so we're going to, GA is short for good article, and we're going to see what that is in a moment. And uh, in spite of that, they're going to have, this person's going to have some comments about it. So this person has really gotten into some details uh, in the text where they uh, think that there are, there's some room for improvement. Uh, if we scroll down, we're going to see some more votes. Uh, and in this case, this person thought there was an in inappropriate variety of English. So Ireland and the UK both use B. Using AE for the article is not appropriate. I, I have no idea uh, actually what these acronyms stand for. So um, oh, I guess that would be American English and British English. Um, so this gives you an idea that, uh, that uh, of, of how, how, how detail-oriented these discussions can get. Um, and so if you wanted to participate in this process, I'm going to scroll back up to Hurricane Debbie uh, to the header. And if you see on the, on the right-hand side, we've got this edit link. So if you click that, you will see an edit screen where you could cast your own vote and you could leave your own comments about the article. So, And remembering, of course, that we're wanting to consider the article specifically in reference to the list of criteria that we just looked at. What are the criteria that an article uh, should live up to to be a featured article. So, um, you know, if you feel that it doesn't have enough images, then that uh, is then it, it might be a good idea to reference featured article criteria number three. Um, if you uh, feel that it doesn't meet uh, a certain policy of, of Wikipedia, if it's not neutral or if there are facts that are not verifiable, you should be uh, specific in referring to the principles that you're. Uh, that you're referring to because that's going to help someone improve the article to get it to featured article st status. So that was a, a pretty uh, thorough overview of the featured article process. Now I'm going to go and show you the, the good article process. And we're going to go through this a little bit more quickly. The good article status is something that has come about more recently than featured article in the Wikipedia uh, in, in the, the Wikipedia processes. Um, it is essentially, a, a, it's a slight step down in terms of quality. The, uh, the review process is not quite as rigorous and the criteria are not quite as strong. Uh, but it's still a very uh, strong mark that an article has been uh, reviewed against criteria and is among the better content on Wikipedia. Um, so, uh, again, we have this shortcut, and I'm going to just use that to get to the overview page about good articles. And then we're going to look at the, the same the, at the criteria and the process used for good articles. So let's go back to our Wikipedia page. I'll go up to the top, and we'll say WP colon GA. And here, again, we get a nice summary of the good article process, which you can read through uh, on your own if you like. Again, let's look at the, the number of articles. So we see here there are 3,000, almost 4,000 articles uh, listed as featured articles. And there are, oh, I, I jumped ahead. There are 16,000 good articles. And uh, again, there are almost 4,000 featured articles. So as you can see, there are more articles that have gotten to this status. The other thing that you're going to find when you go through here is that it's, it's unlike the feature article process, it's not so much an open process where anyone is invited to comment. Instead, when someone wants their article to be considered for good article, they, they nominate it and an individual person will take responsibility for reviewing that article and compare it against the criteria. So the idea is that it's a, a lighter weight process. It's not as time consuming. It doesn't take as many volunteer re resources to get through the process. 
uh, but you still do have that notion that someone is comparing the article against a consistent set of criteria. So you'll see a similar structure on the right hand side that so you see where the the current good article nominations are. Good article reassessment again uh, there's a process for making sure that an article has remained uh, consistent with the assessment going forward. Uh, and actually, let me pause and, and mention this applies both to the feature article and the good article. Those reassessments, in some cases, those those might be important because an article has changed over time. Uh, so maybe people have added to the article and some of those additions aren't well cited, for instance, so that might bring the article out of compliance. Uh, it also could be that the art that the topic is really shifting over time. If it's um, say it's a a current news event and there is much more information still unfolding, uh, that could also impact the article. So maybe just the article just sitting there without changing at all, it could become out of date, really not because of a problem with the article, but because the world is changing around the article. Um, but also there's the possibility over time the criteria for good article and for featured article have been, uh, they've, they've, they've been refined over time and uh, even the idea of, of what qualifies something to be a good article or a featured article has shifted. Uh, just for an example, I think in the very early days of Wikipedia, the, um, the idea of how thoroughly cited an article needed to be was relatively loose. Um, so you might have, uh, you know, maybe just one citation for a whole paragraph Currently, that's not so much the case on uh, on English Wikipedia. It's generally expected that really every fact will have a citation associated with it, and so it could be that an article that was approved in 2006 as a featured article uh, is no longer up to the the current understanding of what it takes to be a featured article. So these reassessments, anyone can nominate an article to be reassessed, and then there would be a discussion similar to the original assessment. Um, to determine whether that status still applies. Okay, so let's look at the good article nominations to get a feel for the process. So I'll click good article nominations, and we're going to see a, a screen similar to what we saw with featured article nominations. This is another long page that will have many, many articles organized by a topic. Um, so I'm going to just scroll down a little ways and we'll see what, what we have. So in this case, you can, you'll notice right away this is different from the featured article list because for each, each line is one article and you just have very brief comments here. And the reason for that is, as I described before, it's only one person doing the review. So in this case, the review takes place typically on the talk page about the article. And all you're going to see on this page is sort of a status update. So you can see with George, George S. Patton's speech to the Third Army, this, this one is currently on hold. Um, this article is awaiting improvements before it's passed or failed. So the reviewer had some comments, and there's some, uh, some time for the original nominator to address those comments. So that gives you an idea of what the status of it is. Uh, if we scroll down, we see number 18, the 20th Battalion in New Zealand this article is being reviewed, additional comments are welcome. So this person, Wikicopter, has taken responsible, responsibility for doing the review but is inviting other people to make comments as uh, he or she is going through that. And, uh, and you'll see number 19, a similar comment. And then another comment after it, note a reviewer with expertise in the writing of architecture topics would be very much appreciated. So that's going to be a good segue to our next topic. So I'd like to talk now briefly about the, the concept of a peer review on Wikipedia. So we've been talking about peer review as a very, as a general concept. Uh, peer review also is sort of a term of art within the Wikipedia universe, and it means something that's more specific, it's, it's, uh, it's more specific than these, the, the feature article and, and good article process processes, it's actually much looser in terms of what a nominator and a reviewer do. So let's go back to Wikipedia. 
and I'm going to go back up to the top of the page and type in WP colon PR. So the idea of a peer review is much less formal than feature article or good article. Basically an article at any stage in its development, uh, the person working on the article can request a peer review and all that means is that they want someone to take a look at it and give them some feedback. So it could be an article that is in a pretty early stage of development, maybe it's a new Wikipedia writer, maybe it's someone who's really just learning about the topic that they're writing about and they want to get some feedback on whether, uh, whether they're on the right track. Uh, or it could be someone who's a seasoned Wikipedian and has written a number of articles and this is the first one that they really want to take through the good article or the featured article process and they want to be sure that they've gotten some feedback before they put it up for nomination. It's not required that you do this but it's often it's a very advisable step to take especially if you're going through your first uh, good article or featured article review. So again you'll see there's a nice description of how the process works and the nomination procedure um, this is actually the first time I've noticed this, where it says nominations are limited to one open request per editor. So as you can imagine, it, um, uh, you, you'd often get a circumstance where people are more interested in getting feedback than giving it. It can be a lot more time consuming to really give good substantive feedback on someone's work. Um, so there's this suggestion that, uh, that people really should not overload the, uh, the peer review process. And if we go down on this page, you'll see all the different articles that are currently listed for peer review. And this is sort of like the, the featured article process. You'll see a lot of comments within this page. Uh, but you also might see these comments spilling over onto the talk page about the article. So we have talked about the feature article process, the good article process, and the peer review process on Wikipedia. And I'd like to take just a moment to talk about the shortcomings of these. Uh, and really, there's just one thing I have in mind, which is uh, the, the, the term peer review is heavily used in the academic world. Uh, peer reviewed journals uh, are something that are generally within the within Wikipedia are considered the most reliable sources for Wikipedia articles. Um, so when something goes through academic peer review, typically if it's if the author is someone with an expert expertise, say in uh, you know uh, European history around the Second World War, the concept of a peer review is that they would submit it to a journal and other people with expertise in European history around the Second World War would be reviewing the article. Um, so the, just the concept of a peer is someone who has similar expertise and similarly high expertise. Within Wikipedia that's not the case. A, uh, a peer review is, uh, if, if you think of a peer on Wikipedia, well Wikipedia is the encyclopedia that anyone can edit. So these processes generally do not have uh, any kind of requirement or even strong suggestion that the person reviewing the article should have strong expertise in the subject that they're reviewing. In some cases, this doesn't really matter a whole lot. In some cases, this is uh, if, if you are a, uh, you know, just a, a, an interested person, you're capable of understanding the general criteria for a featured article or a good article um, and uh, figuring out how they apply to this particular article. There may be a whole lot that you can do to evaluate the article and to offer feedback to the author that's, that's really very valuable. Um, you know, if it's an article about, say, a, uh, a rock band or a movie, um, that, that might be the case. Or if it's, um, if it's a, a, a topic that isn't really a, a subject of strong academic uh, scholarship. But if it's an article about, say, a, a, a highly technical topic in biochemistry, you can see where it might be really important that you have someone reviewing the article that has a strong understanding of that. So uh, this is, I, I would consider something that is generally a, a, a bit of a shortcoming in the way that the processes are designed. However, in practice, 
uh, you typically will not get an article that's highly technical being passed through these processes without having uh, someone that, that does know something about what they're talking about uh, commenting on it. Uh, I think that, that uh, Wikipedians will be reluctant to um, to pass something through if they really just don't understand it or don't don't have a broad enough understanding of its context to be able to evaluate how thorough or how accurate it is. But it's definitely something to keep in mind when you're when you're looking at featured articles and good articles. Um, but I also want to talk about the value. Why is this important? Why have we why why have we spent this time looking into how these processes work? Uh, personally, I think that the featured article and good article processes really do a good job of showcasing the best content on Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Um, and they also do a good job at helping individuals who are composing Wikipedia content to really think carefully about, uh, to, to, to get outside of their initial assumptions of the article and to get some, uh, some perspective from other people. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty common for people to work on a Wikipedia article where they have a very strong interest in the topic, but not necessarily a really strong uh, understanding of it going into it. They may be in a learning process while they're writing the article. Um, and they also might have, there might be a certain aspect of the article that's much more of interest to them or that they happen to know more about. So getting someone else to look at the article and offer some feedback can really be the thing that pushes an article over the hump to where it becomes a much uh, higher quality and more useful article. So that's all I really wanted to cover about the the processes and the value of the programs. There is uh, one more thing I would like to point out, which is just how, how to know when you're looking at a featured article or a good article. So let's go back to Wikipedia and uh, I'm going to go back to the front page. I'll just click on the Wikipedia logo to take me there, and I'm going to click on this today's featured article, the Adelaide Leak. So you're, every time you're looking at a featured article, you will see this gold star in the upper right hand corner, which indicates that it's a featured article. Uh, you also, I'm going to point out this, the, the padlock icon to the left of that. This indicates that the article is, uh, is move protected in this case, it's 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 protected from being moved to a different title, uh, and so Wikipedia articles can be protected so that people, uh, it, it, in in a few different ways, so that people cannot edit them or are limited in the way that they can edit them, and it's pretty common for the article featured at the top of the front page of Wikipedia to be protected during that time because it's getting so much attention that. Um, that there's a good chance that people who don't really know much about Wikipedia will be maybe trying to improve it in good faith, but, uh, but not fully understanding what they're doing and, uh, and maybe messing it up for people who are, uh, are clicking through to it at a much higher rate because it's featured. Uh, and then for a good article, let's see, how am I going to get to one? I'm going to just type in one that I happen to know. Uh, we're going to see a similar icon in the upper right hand corner. It's this green circle with a plus in it, which indicates that the article is a good article. Uh, also, for both featured articles and good articles, you can click on the talk page. Well, for any article, you can click on the talk page to see whether it's a featured article or a good article or if it has a different quality assessment. And in these tan boxes, you will see uh, let's see, in this case it says Salilo Falls has been listed on the Geography and Places good article. And if you wanted to actually find the review, you could click where it says good article nominee right here. Uh, and you would also find uh, a similar box when something's a featured, art featured article. I'm going to click back to the Adelaide Leak and go to the talk page. And this is a different variant that you'll see sometimes. So it tells you right up top that it is a featured article, but it also has this milestones drop down. So if you click show, it will show you the various steps that this article has been through. So 
uh, first it was a good article nominee and it was listed as a good article then it went through a peer review and then it was a featured article candidate and it was promoted to featured article and it also had a fact listed uh, probably when it was first composed in October uh, 2010 so it was also listed on the front page then so finally, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about Communicate OER, which is the project that this video is a part of. Communi Communicate OER is a collaborative effort to improve Wikipedia articles relating to open educational resources. So if you are interested in open educational resources and you want to edit Wikipedia articles, uh, I would highly encourage you to visit this page. You can see the shortcuts here, wp colon com OER will take you to this page. And the tabs within this page, uh, I, I would suggest that you explore them. So the easiest one to get started is this Do tab, which will give you uh, a list of things that you can do to join the project and get started editing Wikipedia. And among the things it will suggest that you do are to join the, the team. On this team tab, you can uh, click in here and add your name to the list and we, so that we know how to reach you. And also, if you click on the Events tab, you will find out how to join our weekly introductory sessions and editing sessions. So thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon on Communicate OER.